So we're here with Harry Jordan, he's playing around with some calisthenics, he wants to learn a little bit more how to clean up his uh, handstand, so we're going to see how he gets on today. The side 90 degrees and go palms to the wall and then off. Yeah, yeah, good. Put one hand on one side and just lift up. You got any pain or pinch it. And then last one, arm up the back, just go steady on that one then. Can you go one over the top? The range, Let's switch sides. Really? Spin it around. Yeah. You'll probably get like your wrists and forearms. I imagine you've probably done quite a lot of work over the years, yeah. so you'll probably find it that. And you, in that handstand, the, the finger strength of being able to stop yourself from going over the top. Yeah. Yeah. When you first start practicing, you think, oh, my fingers are strong, I can do what I need to do. But that ability to actually grip, grip and then pull your legs back is like a massive corrective strategy. Right, let's get some frog stand action going then. Uh, so, just drop yourself in. Then you might see this like a dive bomb from Pluto Stations. Get that shoulder kind of open, look nice and tall. And drop yourself in, head to the floor, elbows behind. Drop into the body, push up. Push out, just rep five, so just dynamic at the top end, just find that end range, drop the hip, and just push him through. If you go push up position, just rotate out up onto the side, just pull things out of seat position. Then you can spin over the back, hands to the floor, do a shoulder stretch, and then pull on top of your side, so you're going to get 360. Balance again, a little bit of stability for the shoulder, finish in front. And then we just get a bit core activation going, just going to feet like slip, or just go and walk out. Go as far as you feel you can. And just walk it to back into push up. Nice, have a good. Like a three of those. The arms out. Yeah, just drop it as low as you feel. Thank you. So be tight, like squeezing your backside. So your backside nice. arch. And then you walk your toes in. Woo! One more. <laughs> I've got like a couple of options and we'll build it up. So we'll start like dead simple where you're going to put your elbow in that crease of your um, knee, hand shoulder width apart, start to spread those fingers and grip with your fingertips rather than turning them out. I want to have the hands straight or the fingers pointing forward but I'm going to screw so my elbow rather than pointing out to the side starts to point backwards, there you go, yeah. And then a little bit of a bend send those elbows into the tip forward until take one leg off if you feel like that find that balance point. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Is that all right? All day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> like when we're like close to everything's compact and close to the floor, we're actually spreading our body like laterally, like horizontally rather than straight up. When we, so that makes the balance easier thinking like someone walking a tight row with their arms out. When we start to bring all that in and go stacking up these are going to have to be within mm -hmm. everything. So, yeah, get, get used to that. And then the other thing, that was the easy. So, start, we're going to start to put the hip a little higher. Put the hip higher, rather than putting the elbow in that crease, we're going to come up and put the knee on the tricep. Okay. It might feel like it wants to slip off, so stability wise, a little bit harder. But yeah. it starts rather than my hip, if you look at how low my hip is there, yeah. compared to I come up here, so I can put my hip much higher. Right. So, yeah. when I want to take off, See, okay. You get into the back. Okay. So I'm starting with the hip high, don't worry. That looks hard. That was really yeah. nice game. <laughs> so fingertips gripping, I want to see some yeah. space underneath there. Yeah. yeah. Knees a little bit higher. That's it. So you're loading up the front of your shoulder a little bit more. Now the hips are a tiny bit higher. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool. There you go. That was nice. It feels yeah, yeah. a little bit harder. You feel the difference when and then you can feel it when you're tipping forwards to really like you think, well not lock them, but grip, the grip with them. So they're going to help you like balance and manoeuvre yourself. Yeah. And did you feel from a... We haven't changed anything other than you've moved your hip position. Yeah. And like tilted you a little bit more to the front of the shoulder. Do you, like, you feel a little bit harder? Yeah, like, it feels harder. Yeah, I think as well that just that one foot come off first just to feel it out. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Just slowly do it, yeah. Rather than a lot of the time people are like jumping into it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slow is definitely better. It gives your brain a chance to like, get an idea of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Using yourself into it. Uh, so, this time, when you push, like, think about screwing that shoulder so the elbow points backwards. And keep pushing down hard. And then when you're in there, rather than just staying still, can you like, challenge yourself by moving around a little bit and feel how hard your fingers 
it has to move far for it to like to, for it to be to, hard. Yeah, yeah, or to take because when you balance it, what happens is we're not just constantly in like we're in control, but we're constantly losing a bit of balance, bringing it back, mm -hmm. losing that speed, and it's that fine motor control of the hand, just like someone like playing the piano. Like I can't play the piano, so I haven't got that yeah. that skill part of it, but. In the handstand, you've got to use those fingers to bring you back in and then take it off, bring you back sure. in. Elbows pointing backwards, it's screw a bit, yeah. I think that's the highest bit, thumbs up on it. Both those things, it's get comfortable first, yeah. and before then, just challenge it a little bit in here. Get it a little bit forward and backwards as well. Good position, yes. Yeah. One of the hardest bits is the, yeah, the skin into the <laughs> <everything> <laughs> up there. What you like if you try and set so challenge the strength a little bit rather than both legs resting mm -hmm. on the uh, on the it's gonna take one off. Okay. And that's from that so the more advanced version of this move is the knee into the Yeah, the knee, yeah, get the knee higher. Okay. And then So you, you yeah, you were there with the knee higher. Like what push down hard into the floor before you try and take that knee off. Keep pushing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There nice. we go. Yes. Put it back, easy. Good. Thank you. Yeah, see, so you push down and it makes you feel more stable. Yeah, the big thing about the handstand is like try and keep your body, we call it, the thing might be as straight and strong, or long and strong. So the more, like throughout the handstand, you're constantly just trying to push the force down to keep the body stacked. So that, if you can feel that, and one of the big strength progressions on it is whenever you do your balances in these positions, like people can get comfortable and go, okay, I can hang out here for 30 seconds. But if I try and keep pushing as hard as I can to build the strength to get that rotation, I need to be like literally kind of like trying to, to push up. be okay. able to kind of be strong enough to push make up. that 30 seconds way harder than just yeah. 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 you can go from 30 yeah. to like 10. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, you can like literally just like shake it, but that's just the, the stimulus of the brain and go, okay, yeah, you need to do something. Just doing a little bit of just hot way there. So what, when, when the knees are real, when our knees are low, the hips are low, so here, yeah. And then if he puts his knees higher, and look how high the hip is, when he takes both legs off, you just drive, the hips don't drop, he actually drives the hips up as he straightens the arms. So you want to put those hips, rather than behind, put the hips on top of the shoulders. You want then the, the legs is, but once you've got that, that and that. Yeah. Sure. Happy that. So, what happens a lot of the time, strength-wise, the Tim's saying, you're not pushing down, or if you're just actually not strong enough, when they take those knees off, rather than staying still, you start dropping down. Yeah. yeah. You see that yeah, all the time, like, people like, they just they don't push all the new frog stands for ages. As soon as they take one knee off, because they've never been actively pushing against the ground, mm -hmm. they haven't built the strength for the yeah. right to push yeah, it. Yeah. So there's a little strength that you can do alongside it as well as these portions. Uh, I'm, I'm going to support it on your hip. Okay. You're going to uh, try and take both legs off. We're going to try and keep the hip at the same height. Keep the knee, keep the knee. So one at a time. So you, uh, bring, no, bring, try and bring them both together. I'll support your hips so you can feel it again. And maybe hands just a smidge wider. So I'm just going to squat you back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Nice. Good, you're good. Right, let's go. Home. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. If I go into the handstand, after you've been there for a bit, people end up like they forget to push and the body just kind of slumps. Yeah. You have to work really hard to try and hold it. There's a lot of it in push position. Pushing hard to try and keep it. Yeah. Straight line. It gets more difficult because the centre line comes up taller. Mm -hmm. When you're in that kind of arch position, you actually distribute weight over base support, so it's a little bit easier to kind of find it. But like you said before, you want to get it right. And yeah. If you don't want to get trolled, you go for like um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We talk about this being like building from the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do some stuff with the wall where you can worry about what well, it's like. The line at the top. Yeah. yeah. I'll just try and like support you. Let's so think about when you take those knees off, start trying to rotate towards me and push, 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 push. Oh, I say. They're not doing a lot there. They're now, now tight. drive up towards the seat. Yeah. There you go. Tummy tight. Bummy tight. Toes. There you go. Yes. That's the one. Oh, mate. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 The blood goes to your head. Right now, push up. Good. Yeah. Cool. Nice. But I, I guess that bit from pushing out. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'll I'll that bit it. from um, knees off elbows. So from there to yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of the strength. Of the you think about when I'm supporting you and I'm spotting somebody, 
I can like help in terms of lifting up. So, how much you weigh? So say say I like lift up a tiny bit and I make you like 72, feel like 72 yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, then that's one part is the strength. But the other part is that someone holding you here, you're not, even though you're still balancing, I'm adding a little a load of stability in there so that when the brain has got to figure out how to control that balance, it can put all of its focus on driving right, and giving you the strength. Yeah. So if, I, if you try and do one now without me, mm. You may or may not be strong enough, you mm. don't know, but then also, like, have you got the balance to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've got more things to work But I'm not doing it, I'm like going, yeah. Doing a lot yeah. It's good. But the bridging point is almost like, so if you can, like, we, we kind of define it as a strength handstand or like a most direct route. So a lot of people, oh, we have a beginner's guide where we kind of get people actually just to kind of kick up onto straight arms, yeah, and then hold. Sure. Which is great, you want to fast track the handstand, but ultimately where we want to go with it, and you're probably the same, I want to go to the handstand push it. Yeah. So build us some strength so that I can actually start to get up. Yeah. And then I can start working into some yeah. better yeah. positions. That's just mental, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the assumption that you probably want to do the handstand push it, don't you? No, I do. Yes. But when you see people do it, it's like... That's mental. Yeah. Because you see it, you go, okay, how'd you do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, imp no, that's impossible. Yeah. If you, because if you can't do it straight away, you're into the. It's like teaching people the drums. Yeah. And once you play, and they go, oh, it's a good, and they're like, but like, it's impossible, and they yeah. just walk off. Yeah. They just can't do it. But if you just spend that bit of time, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's what, have you seen that like with the strap line we use? Yeah, that's right. It's exactly like yeah. that. Everything we tried to do. Remember the first time we tried to do a flag. Not only would you go it was impossible. Tim was like, "This is the position that I always used to dis dislocate my shoulder." So not only yeah. did it feel impossible, I'm also yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to pop out. I don't know if my shoulder. I used to have had two surgeries on the side from rugby, and I know it's a jack. I don't know if my shoulder going to stay when I do this. Yeah, it's literally like. <laughs> but it's all strengthened, I guess. Mate, they know they're better. Yeah. And it's it's going. We we're doing some research with Staffordshire Uni now and uh, speaking at a conference later this year about uh, the benefits of this sort of stuff for general population, but also from a performance perspective. So if I do more stuff hanging, like how good is that yeah. with my shoulder? Yeah. If I put my hand on the floor and then start to learn to balance, the proprioception, and I even like. It'd be really interesting down the line if you get better at this sort of stuff and you're a like, really accomplished drummer. But if someone was learning like the skill acquisition side of it, you've just got a better connection with your hands. Yeah, yeah. So all of a sudden, are you more precise? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if that's it. Like, we talk about with the swimmers, like their catch position, or like Hannah, for example, when she pushes, she just knows where she's in space for, and the shoulder's more comfortable. And the shoulder's like, um, like a seal with a ball on its nose. The whole job is to try and keep this bone attached into the socket. But because it's so much, so much mobility, that shoulder can move around all over. And like, some of the issues you would have to be around that. Yeah. So the tighter we can get the shoulder to sit in, then the more force you can put out, the more kind of awareness you've always got. So it's some really interesting stuff that it hasn't been researched, which we're going to push into. Uh, I like phase two of this. Is you'll have us back. We come back. Let me see how happy. I'll be sure. But, yeah, then, and then, but then also, yeah. like, oh, yeah. also going back. So uh, you've got really good at your handstands, Tim. Um, can you now just drum? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Across the I'll yeah, give you guys a lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to get teach Jack to drawings it's because it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. I said to him, if you start that. kids young as well, it's keeping them interested is the hard thing. And a noise. Yes. I was into it. Have you seen Step Brothers right now? It's like, whenever I think of drumming, I was, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, have you not seen Step Brothers? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Did you touch my drum set? It's literally <laughs> the modern day. I just go to something modern day like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, for me, it's like a classic. Like yeah. it's, it's so hard yeah. to find it. Yeah. Yeah. So this trick, I, I learned frog style, frog style hands that by basically just over and over again trying. You'll be you won't be far because you've, you've got some good pushing strength. But I literally learned from just trying to push up and then fail. It wasn't particularly effective in a short period of time. Yeah, we got there a lot. lot of it. We yeah. got there in the end. But we use this progression a little bit with people so you can just get that feeling of, right, I'm in my yeah. frog stand, yeah. and a bit of support okay. to rep into that and then kind of get up and then you can just bring, bring it back a little bit. Yeah. And I push up and then in that balance position I've got an opportunity then to try and find that nice straight shape. And I can That's rep it. Exactly why I want you to do it. Probably like, because Tim doesn't really need the band. You want the, the angle that your hips coming up at. Like your hip needs to come up and forward. Yeah. So you set yourself up so that when you're in the bottom, you've got a bit of an angle. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I guess we're just going to go. 
<laughs> so what hand do you want to So you go back, back, yeah, go back a little bit. So yeah. probably your hands where your feet were just were then. Yeah? Yeah. I'll just give you a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Okay. Which way? Do you notice that you feel like you start pushing backwards? Um, yeah. So you're going to try, you've got to think that you're, you're trying to bring them hips over the top. So you're going to almost feel like you're pulling them like that way. Um, and keep your feet in, keep your, keep your set, keep everything nice and close and tight. Hands about here. Yeah. yeah. Better, 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 better. There you go. Now put your feet close yeah, to yeah. your bum. Feet to your bum. Good. Okay. Nice. That's good. That's just so much of it. A bit, that's the skill acquisition process of going, where's too far? Yeah. And you about exactly the same thing as like where my hands need to be in coordination. And it's just like reflecting going, hey, that didn't work, I'll keep it over my head. Sure. What do I need to now do? Which is then be like, make sure midsection's nice and tight. Yeah. That's, that's nice. That's that's good. Good. <laughs> It's the coordination bit. Yeah, because oh, right. yeah. you're moving, you're remembering, you're rotating, you're the pressing. Yeah, you're then going, well, what am I doing? But that, like, even that pushing out, even that strength of just pushing out and, and failing, yeah. it's not a bad thing because you're still learning. You, if you look at it from a strength perspective, you're still learning. Yes, you can push out and balance out, but you're still learning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then I'm trying to create a rocking motion. Oh, I see, right, right. That's a gymnastics go to position to create tension. So if they're doing any like isometric holds, even like iron crosses, yeah. it's locking that into that dish position, which kind of is the strongest position for the body. So you and why can drop? So it's just like to test whether you actually hold in the position. Right. So you can so go hands behind you. Good. So then when you rock, what you're trying to do is keep your hands and feet the same distance apart. But yeah, that's it. All you've got to do yeah, yeah, when you go back, pull that. So use your levers to pull that. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. Good. Nice, yeah, so if you're creating that little bit of curve, mm -hmm. then it becomes it's, then it's smooth rather than. I see. But you know if you you know if you're getting this wrong because you're lucky if your back just smashes down against it. So it's about letting the other put you just try and stay still and just I dictate your I'm not pushing so you're not gonna go anywhere. But then it's push <laughs> it. <laughs> you're trying to do is I'm not doing that, I'm not pushing it, you're doing it. So what did you do? So you just try and stay still. Right, okay, so shouldn't have moved. No, no, all you're going to do is wait until wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'll stay tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That takes effort, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That takes effort. laughs> <laughs> so just stay tight, 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 tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it, good. There's a bit of a connection there, that's good. So keep it now. Push against my feet, push against my feet. <laughs> push up, push up. Oh man, that's mental. That's so hard. Let's right. try. Uh, let's try one. I'll let go of you. Try one. The top. You're gonna. Well, I'll come, we'll come round. Okay. And press out. So put everything yeah. together. Yeah. Fingers. Uh, hands a tiny bit wider. Um. Yeah. Put the fingertips. Yeah. I'm just gonna support your hips. Are you gonna find a position that you had on the wall? Yeah. Easy. That's good. Come on. Come on. That was good. That Feet together. That's it. Nice. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. That's it. Good, man. Got it. Oh, amazing. I felt it going down there. That must have been nice and straight. The line was great. Yeah. Now it's just, now it's just practice. Now you just need to. Yeah. <laughs> um, now you just need to give your brain opportunity to learn those fine motor control. That's it. Yeah. Like the strength and alignment was like perfect. Yeah. All, you, all your brain now needs is to go, well, if I'm coming down, what do I need to do? And if that's if you're coming down backwards, it's going to be like either opening the shoulders up a little bit or squeezing your back and your bum to try and hold yourself up. If you're going over the top, it's seeing your tips down, rib cage down. And you're just, that's what this is. Yeah, practice loads like that. Yeah, right, um, frog stand to um, like the half hand stand. Yeah, like that. That's either with the band or just a yeah. lot of failure, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting good at like taking both legs off and not letting the hips drop down. Yeah, because so you, when you, so like, you, you take both knees off and just keep the hips high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, nice. good. Yeah. Where I feel like the is that push. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So that'll come. Take so, so, two exercises then. So, we use do you want to try and show that one way you like that? Do you want for me? So yeah, so we'll do it. Set up, me, set up, pick you up. And then see what they can do. This is nice. And then, yeah, we'll do some So, like, tight all the way through, but just lying now. Like okay. On the front. We pick his feet up. He stays tight. I hold on, buddy. Sorry, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do that for? Don't you worry about me, Jack. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's remembering to breathe as well. <laughs> yeah. They're looking like straight out behind me, so if yeah. you can at least give yourself that visual reference, it does help just give you that orientation. I felt my hands are a bit closer as well. Uh, Is it, should it be? Sh I think sh just think shoulder. Part. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. Yeah. And I want you to focus more on like pushing the, the hips and the feet towards the ceiling because it's sometimes getting a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah. Keep gripping the floor with fingertips. Yeah. Easy. Good. That's nice. That's better. Hold that shape. There you go, he's got it. <laughs> get it back, get it back. Three pieces down, there you go. Fingertips. That's the thing to sit. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. Yeah, that felt good. It was really good.
So that's the session all wrapped up. We've had another, a great time today. Spending a bit of time with Harry. We've done some handstands, a few things to take away, a few training tips to go and play with, a few areas to get strong, a few areas of skill acquisition. Yep. What's the plan, what do you reckon? Which one do you reckon is gonna come um, mastered All first? of it, mate, or well, mastered, oh, not all of that. No, I think <laughs> for me, what was really helpful is, I wanted to try calisthenics for ages, but it's just doing it properly. Yeah. I think anything that you throw yourself into, whether it's fitness or music or whatever it is, you have to learn technique first, and then you'll progress quicker. Just throwing yourself into it, trying to do it, getting frustrated, it does feel impossible. And hence why, you, like you guys say, redefining your impossible. It is possible, it's just about taking your time, figuring out the technique, and yeah man, I've really enjoyed it. I've got some things to work on, and then hopefully catch up with you guys further down the line. And uh, We're yeah. coming for a drumming lesson, that's the next That's thing. right, exactly. And it's the same principles though for drumming. It's technique, it's, uh, yeah, it's patience, practice, and ultimately about having fun, so. Very and nice. taking your top off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, guys. We had a great session today. Until next time, you have to say class dismissed. Okay. Class dismissed. <laughs>